Loke miline buwe Simon Okuna bozala Simon Oku atakata buwe siya Hey hey Kone Simon Uwakwe Commander 56 Brigade Nke jina lo chuku Simon Loke miline buwe Simon Okuna bozala Simon Oku atakata buwe siya Hey 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 Kone Simon Uwakwe, Commander, 56 Brigade. Nke jina lo chuku. Simon Oke Miline Buwe. Simon, Okuna Bozala Simon Oku. Atakata Abwe Siya. Hey, hey, hey. Kone Simon Uwakwe, Commander, 56 Brigade. Nke jina lo chuku. Simon Oke Miline Buwe. Simon, Okuna Bozala Simon Oku Atakata Abwe Siya Hey 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 Kone Simon Uwakwe Commander 56 Brigade Nke Jina Lo Chuku Simon Oke Miline Buwe Simon Okuna Bozala Simon Oku Atakata Abwe Siya Hey 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 Good guy fighting for us all. Be a foundation you defend with love and spirit you won't bend. Strength and courage in your heart. From Ghana to Nigeria we all start. Thank you, Simon. Very strong to you, our love will always belong. Ghana joins in singing praise. Your name in cheers, we all raise. You fight with passion, very strong to you, our love will always belong. Ghana joins in singing praise. Your name in cheers, we all raise. Yeah. 
South first heart, it beats with pride. Sign on it by my outside. No matter what it takes, we'll strive. With you, our future comes alive. Okay, okay, Biafras, on a welcome, on a well done. How we day, how we they do. <laughs> Simon never the good guy. That man, the guy who sing that music, eh? him himself, a good guy, him be. I must say the truth. Um, Biafras, I greet everybody. Nolin, oh. Nolene, they were, hmm? you're always there. Thank you, Nolene. Right then, they were always, ah, sorry, sorry, John Wood. At all, to every one of you, and that always they there for me and every other person out there that are not in the comments, one love to you all, always there. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, GB, 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 Nigeria. Nigeria don't finish. No. There was one video I brought about one prophet that time that said that Nigeria, uh, Tinubu sold Nigeria. But people don't understand that uh, video. That the thing say to sell Nigeria and to sell them um, physically, call them money. No. To sell Nigeria and to. Uh, to send Nigeria now to put Nigeria in a place that Nigeria will never ever come back again. So now I want you to understand something. Where Nigeria day to day, no mebantas, no coming back. Well, I see video, somebody where they said drug. Come the confess, say Nifany over, give and post. We are in the same drug. You can imagine. This is why they, they fight against this Biafra. Now, because of all these their evil doings, upon all the money we find your bag get, if they encourage people, may they go the same drug. If they encourage people. May they go the said drug. Unbelievable. I know if you believe them. This one, eh, it shockalized me. Many things they go on. Buhari said they don't go borrow money. Duma. He don't go borrow money. Borrow money. Borrow money. Borrow <laughs> LGBT join up. Bam. And the he borrowed the money, you know, if you know what in the uh, uh, deal, way inside, you don't know what in me. Uh. <laughs> hey, oh, Diego, oh, Diego, oh, Diego. Listen, you know that woman where they shout that I will go say, you see. Uh, he stop marriage, marriage for young girls. I don't say this one, they want you to accept, they go finish up. People think saying a lie. They don't they deal with them now. They don't they deal with them now, as we they hear. They don't they show them, say who they, they don't they tell us, say who say make you talk. Who ask you to talk? Who give you mouth to talk? Nigeria problem now is Nigeria problem now don't get to the point that nobody go fit to do anything about it. Nigeria finally has been sold. 
Because by the time you think you want to calculate anything, eh? Anything. If you remember, there was a video our Prime Minister did some time ago, exposition, that the roads, some road, federal road in Nigeria, the people that bring, that sponsor the road, eh? The people that sponsor the construction of the road signed agreement with Nigeria that after some time, if you don't pay, <laughs> that road do not then get up. <laughs> you can imagine when you day for country with the road, no be your own. <laughs> when we tell you that Nigeria has no way out he has only one way in and that one way if you enter you don't trap you cannot come out that is nigeria but people don't understand people go to see with the make noise we know how to make noise to make noise the sweet us to make noise the enjoy us to make noise and the best thing but it's not so with the talk because we want people to understand and to know and begin to run for their lives before it go too late for them. In Nigeria, a man have put his organs on sale to for sale so that he go feed his family. Make people come by my organ so I go feed feed my family. Is this a country? Is this a country? In Nigeria, many things will happen. We don't they happen. Where they happen. Now the many things when many people no go even understand, no go fit explain, no go ever explain. When we call people to wake up, wake up, they go things say with the make noise, with the disturb their peace. We leave you. That peace you no get. That life you no get. Nothing. Nothing absolutely nothing you don't get anything I told them that tinibu will sell nigeria life collect money i saw the word of same people sir you must be born again to see again you they hear um in tell them say tinibu go sell nigeria collect money but people no listen people no hear people no understand them and today as we are here talking where is nigeria bila said that that place will go start with where is nigeria is there nigeria existing again where is nigeria This prophecy was about, uh, I don't know how many years ago, I think about uh, two, uh, 2022, when Tinubu was coming to power, or when he was about to come to power. Ninth man prophesied that prophecy. Ninth man do the prophecy, and it don't come pass. This bill, where they go signing, this agreement, where they go sign, you know what Tinubu mean? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, oh, so that's it. Eh? People go, they do, 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 do. Say they, they go do themselves without knowing they don't do themselves. They go use knife, cut themselves. I tell you the truth. They go use their hand. Okay, the chair. Their head. Now they go use their hand cut their head come out and they try to bring the video for this LGBT where they don't sign for Nigeria where people don't know. So when you hear that Nigeria is finished, I won't make you then mean how it be. Today I know go to the interrupt the video so you could listen well and understand well what in there happen. First of all, maybe listen to this man. 
This is not the time again I'm telling somebody to repent. Now it's a must or you perish. You see, the repentance here is to look there. Better repent. Total repentance. 100% times 100% repentance. That is what he's saying. Repent. Look for your freedom now. Fight for your freedom. Look for everlasting freedom. That is the repentance you need. Hello, I bring greetings. This this video was last year video i made this video last year and this video the prophecy was of two years ago but today everything in that video has come to pass and they still passing because by the time they finish selling eh? <laughs> hey they go say you will be Niger, will be one Nigerian man. They go say you. They go sell all of you, all this youth, Nigerian youth. They go sell all of you. I'm telling you, all of you now. They go sell on a journal. Make we listen to the video. Listen to this. <laughs> I told them that. Tinibu will sell Nigeria. Life, collect money. I saw the board of Tinibu. Sir, you must be born again to see again. That, this is not the time again to tell somebody to repent. Now it's a must or you perish. Well, make we no laugh too much. Sometimes, this man, this man now, all the things we don't prophesy, don't pass. He now, in prophesy sometime ago of his, right? about Everybody the say, oh, execution, oh. demolition of the Igbo properties, and they have come to pass. Peter and this warning don't come to come again. Wait, he said 2024. I told you people in the middle of the city. But by the way, that from everything we they have, the they don't sell. When you know get a finance, they don't sell them. Um, they don't sell them. They don't sell them. So wait till you get easy. That is what Malachi 3, 9, 17, and 18 will come. Just listen to this Sir, video. And the last. Well, God will reveal. I was telling them me. the prophecy yes, of what will happen 2024. I told them that. Tinibu will sell Nigeria. Life, collect money. I saw the word of the same people. Sir, you must be born again to see again. That, this is not the time again I'm telling somebody to repent. Now it's a must or you perish. Serving God, is it 2024? 2024. You will have your money, the money will be useless. Many companies will fold, let say, fold. How many companies don't food now? How many foreign companies don't work? Huh? You see, they count them. Mm -hmm. Parents will call PTA meeting and say we cannot afford it. I saw these ten people build to build house will be to build four bedroom flats will cost you what they used to build twenty stories. You are crying that the dollar is 1,000 something. You are crying why in the month of March 14th, right? I said, dollar will go to 2,500. And you are crying now. I told them, I said, that thing that will make people to become president will be removed. Didn't I tell you? Now they will tell you, become president. You say, no. What is the need of me there? Go and check 2013, 2014, 2015 prophecy. Everything happening now is what has been prophesied. But those that stand in truth, sir, things will be moving with. Sir, fuel will be in the market, but nobody to buy fuel. Tinibu sold Nigeria. Nigeria has no time in their hand. Nigeria was enslaved, sold. I'm telling the gospel truth. You have money in the bank, you can't take it again. They flows it. They brought another new print, another new money than this one you are using. New money printed. Just to hijack people's money again in the bank. So many global men and their children are even private school, government school even shut down because no one to pay teachers. Students and youth went on Larry. They did all the Larry, do Larry to do anything, nothing happened. They were massacred. That's why God says a year of years to those that believe because it's Malachi 3 verse 17 and 18. 
he will distinguish between those that love him and those that hate him. Next year, that people eating people's flesh will manifest pain. But it's not for us. Amen. I saw it. That's why it goes it's to be a year of blessing. To be a year of blessing. So it's going to be something else. Uh, every commodity is shooting up times 10. Every commodity, everything to come. Why am I building all these houses people are saying today? Rushing it. You will see building material will be something else. Very expensive. Nowhere to be found. You can't buy them. All right. All right. Now, I want you to see the reason why I'm telling you. I am believing him and I want you to just take what he said as truth. Nigeria, they started selling Nigeria long ago. But finally, Tinubu have come to cement the sell. The money where Nigeria they own now. Eh? Even if you sell everything where Nigeria get, you see that all year. If you go sell the all you wholesale, you sell all the all you wells with them for this for zoo for Biafra land, you know, go pay the debt. And did you know what? Every minute of the day, the interest of the debt they increase. Now they are borrowing money for the so-called wicked senators to use and enjoy themselves and pay themselves salaries of almost 3 million naira or 300 million naira a month. I think about 280 million naira a month total with allowance. And the common man that do the job do not get 60,000 minimum maximum they get 30,000 and they are demanding now for 60,000 and it is still under deliberation the same senate go sit down to decide how much you go pay them sit down decide how much they go pay you do you know that their dog their dog feeds better than you where they have their domestic animals and domestic house helps get over a six hundred thousand a month and the you that is a director sales accountant sales representative a doctor a teacher is getting thirty thousand naira because you believe in nigeria that is not existing i don't know how we will open people's brain and they talk for people to understand. I just don't know how we could do make people understand waiting with the talk because we don't talk everything. We don't open everything. We don't say everything. Yet, people no one understand. Okay, here the video. I don't like this deal at all for Nigeria, and I don't think it's an exaggeration to say this is more of an economic hitman type move, and I'm going to explain why. The Nigeria has taken another IMF loan, this time for $2.5 billion, bringing Nigeria's total debt obligations to over $110 billion. I don't like this deal at all for Nigeria, and I don't think it's an Hold exaggeration up. to say this is more of an Hold economic up. hitman type um, move, and I'm going to explain why. The uh, terms of this IMF loan may seem fair at first glance. It's a $2.5 billion loan it's not clear i will download it and bring it up again i want you to understand that nigeria look ever good again mm -hmm. nigeria so if you still the hope and the belief make you listen and they see and they hear and they tell me what you still they believe about nigeria what in be that Waiting be the thing where you see the belief about Nigeria, where you see the want about Nigeria. Waiting be that thing. Now, waiting, let me get the video because I don't have it here. Let me get it. It's good you listen to the video and the Nigerianists, people be them. Come and listen and they see and they hear and they understand why they are lying to you that they will never stop lying. They are lying and they are not ready to stop lying and they will never stop lying. 
they have hope. Hope that is nowhere. Hope that can never, ever, ever rise. Demo demonized, dead, buried, rotten hope. Nigeria, if you do not repent to take Biafra now, I don't know what you really want. If you are still one of those people that are standing by the side, waiting to see Simon Epa fail, waiting to see Biafra fail, I, I pity you. I pity you. I pity you so bad. I pity you too bad. This is time to wake up. Make everybody stand up now. Make we wake up and fight for our freedom for once. When you see anybody standing against Simon Eber, you can understand why they are standing against Simon Eber. You can understand them. Make we quickly make we quickly go to um. Okay, now I have the video. Let me bring the video now so that many of us could listen and then many of us go understand it's not this one um what video file where is it is i think it is this one has taken another imf loan this time for 2.5 billion dollars bringing nigeria's total debt obligations to over 110 billion dollars i don't like this deal at all for nigeria and i don't think it's an exaggeration to say this is more of an economic hitman type move and i'm going to explain why the terms of this imf loan may seem fair at first glance it's a 2.5 billion dollar loan at one percent interest rate that will be paid off over 40 years with no payment due for over 10 years. But here's the problem. The loan needs to be paid back in Western currencies and the Naira is losing significant value every year, meaning this loan is going to end up costing tens of billions of dollars to Nigeria within a decade. From an economic sense, the effective interest rate would be 1% plus the depreciation of the Naira relative to the U.S. dollar. In the past year, the Naira depreciated 50%, meaning the interest rate would be 51% if the Naira depreciation continues. This is an economy-destroying debt obligation, of course because payments don't start until 2034, when all the current politicians will be long gone when the loan starts to come due. I can understand why this was a tempting loan to take. But let's say the Naira depreciation is only 10% per year, which is very generous. Even in this best case scenario, that means by 2034, the principal in this loan will effectively grow from $2.5 billion to $7 billion. The payments will then be the equivalent of a billion dollars a year and continue for 30 years. So for $2.5 billion today, Nigeria is agreeing to pay the Western banks $30 billion under a 10% inflation rate. But even the loan itself comes with other concessions that should worry Nigerians. Nigeria will have to keep a large portion of this money as foreign reserves, so they can't even spend much of it. They also need to end subsidies on oil, which will hurt their economy, and they will need to enact reforms, which will make it easier for Western banks to compete with the domestic Nigerian banks. I understand that in many ways the current administration inherited these problems. However, the terms of this IMF loan will contribute to long-term insolvency. Nigeria has far too many assets, both in raw resources and a talented labor pool, to be in this debt spiral. And the longer they stay reliant on Western banks, the longer Nigeria will operate below their economic potential. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Nigeria should have taken this loan and agreed to the reforms that came along with it? Or should Nigeria have taken the more difficult path of breaking away from IMF loans? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if this video brought value to you, give me a like and a follow. That really helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Sorry, 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 oh no man, I no verse. 
I am saying, as we hear this, Nigeria is something, 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 no be a comment. Nigeria is something that people are fighting, killing, destroying to keep. They waste our lives just to keep Nigeria. They destroy our community just to keep Nigeria. They deny people access to the blessings God has given to them, bless them with just to keep Nigeria. Yet, you cannot keep Nigeria. Yet, Nigeria is not working. Yet, Nigeria is fake. People know they get that. People know they understand that. Now, despite all this loan, what is his name? Tinubu still went and signed new deal, new contract. You see, when fools are in the power, they will always do foolish things. You know, our leader, Mazenam Dekano, used to say that when a fool grows old, he becomes an old fool. To be intelligent, you don't mean say you go to school, you don't mean say you graduate. You don't mean say you get money. Mm -mm. Common sense. If they know they get them for school, they know they get them for who still they say no sand, but that should be sand. Who still say no sand? Hmm? Who still the talk say no sand? Let me see if I am. That is sand or now. Who is saying no sound? That is sound. Okay, thank you. So, maybe we'll see the video of the um, agreement or company that Nigeria um, loan. The, what led Nigeria into this is borrowing. 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 Watch. Committee African Bar Association, Mr. Sonny Ekokusi, regarding the Samoa Agreement. The Samoa Agreement, once you put your pen to paper and you sign, it becomes functional, it becomes operational. You don't have to domesticate, because I'm a lawyer for many years now, so I know about ratification and domestication by virtue of Section 12 of the Net Net Constitution. But this one is it's like giving, signing an open check, because under the Samoa Agreement, the Council of Ministers, headed by the European Union, will be meeting regularly and be making decisions binding on those who have signed. So, Samoa Agreement has not even ended, okay? People are... The, are you getting the message? This Samoa Agreement, and the, the only thing that pushed this Nigeria into this is money. A period go, a period go, come and take money. They are looking for money to buy equipment to come to Biafra land and they engage Biafra army in asymmetric warfare, in jungle warfare. Not to kill terrorists, so to come to Biafra land. Now, this Samoa, this their agreement to give you money, if you enter, you do, it'd be like secret society. Where we say, Today, they tell you, say, na Lisa, they go bring. Tomorrow, when the oracle talk, the oracle feel say, na your eye, you go bring. You go bring up or you die. Na so it be. So, it's like open shake as the man is explaining to you. And the, the law, the rules, the guideline has no end. They fit meet tomorrow and they say, we want to add that a woman must to be the head of state they want to meet tomorrow and say that a lesbian must to be the president of your country and you must abide by it that is what they are doing that is is not an organization is not um, a group of people that have like you and have their law have their um treaties have their uh, 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 constitution this is 
a cons they have their constitution, but it is open. Anytime they meet, anytime they come meeting, they go deliberate. Uh, maybe we are the same uh, certain every country where they inside that where they are among us go go the worship certain by force. If they vote and the voting people that want, uh, say I win, hmm, that becomes the law. That is what it means. If they come meeting, maybe once in a month or once in six months, I don't know. If they gather and then they decide, they come meeting that day, and somebody raised a motion that we want a president in every member of Samoa country to be a gay man or woman wants to be a gay. That is what it must be. That is what the man is explaining to you. And that is what Tinubu went and signed with his government article. Um, uh, sorry, um, um, uh, um, uh, Shetima. They don't know what they signed. They don't even know what they signed. And the, the man, Atiku Bangudu, that is minister for, um, what is his name, learning and whatever, whatever. He is proudly coming to a national television, arguing that the, the Samoa has nothing to this. But already, it includes gay. It includes right for lgb so those people where they fight gay they're gonna stop because it don't stop for nigeria nigeria is officially gay city gay land this is why you must find your way out talking about the contest lgbt no it's only it's also called contest lgbt comprehensive sexuality education teaching our kids how to be how to have sex how to be sterile how to um masturbate and all that it also contains abortion it also contains transgender well it's alleged that this clause was expunged in the agreement no way it's not expunged we tell them not to expunge it and the eu said no okay after nigeria refused to sign the eu started lobbying the african countries namibia has not signed because namibia said it cannot sign because the agreement does not have what is called a law interpretation clause Bridge it up because we told them to put interpretation clause and say that under no circumstances can any articles of this agreement can be construed to promote LGBT, abortion, transgender, and they refuse, the EU refused. Don't forget that it's an EU agreement. So in an agreement, the parties should sit down and cancel. Those those articles were not expunged. They are there, okay? I've mentioned 2.5. If the minister wants wants me to wants to want to do a debate. I can appear, we can talk about it, we can bring the agreement, and I can, I can explain the language of that agreement. I'm familiar with them because I am also, I also go to, to the United Nations. I know the language of the EU. I know the EU in my pocket. I know the language. I know what they are talking about. And I was the lawyer that stopped Dr. Danjuma to pass a bill at National Assembly called Women's Reproductive Rights. That was 2006. And we told, the, we told them that that women's reproductive rights is euphemism for abortion, and that bill was struck out. In the same way, this um, uh, summer agreement is littered with euphemisms of the EU and euphemisms of the United Nations, and Nigeria has signed, and we're saying, why did you sign? During your last appearance on Morning Brief, you said that the LGBTQ... Nigeria have already signed without knowing what they signed, because they need money. Their attention is on money money to come and fight simon Epa. money to come and listen <laughs> oh oh google one no. <laughs> this is bless up everybody we are going home i'm there i'm there i i did tell you Pado, Pado, see, get prepared if you have not been financing, this is the time you should be financing. If you have not been, um, if you've not been participating in this freedom redeclaration, this is the time you should do more. Do everything, anything you've been doing, do more. If you have been the sabotage type, continue, double your effort in sabotaging. I'm going to tell you the truth. If you are the blackmailing type, continue the blackmail. 
But if you are the good one, continue to be good one. Because the good will always overcome the bad, whether they like it or not. We know they beg them. Go to Nigeria and every day that Biafra tell them, Biafra no tell them, Biafra, Simon Elba talk, or Simon Elba no talk, Simon Elba this, Biafra government. One day, they go tell you, say, na Biafra army. <laughs> Very soon, it will be, they will, they will, you that, that, just watch, watch him. Is being taught in some schools in Nigeria already. Could you please speak more? Yeah, this, is very, this is very interesting because, um, you know, these people, they, they have no regard for our laws. They have no respect for, I mean, for our sovereignty. Before the summer agreement, in the past five years, we have been going to federal high courts and they're showing what they are teaching in Nigerian schools. I'm on ground. So these people, when they talk about this, I just like because I'm not talking conspiracy to, I mean, theory. I have the read, cost process that we filed. In my office, the government came for amicable settlement, what's called in court amicable settlement. And they promised to expunge the, this. They are teaching our, our, our kids terrible things in public schools. JSS 1, JSS 2, JSS 3, how to put on the condom, how to put on the, how to do masturbation, how to do sterilization so that. In now, 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 this, um, if, if, if say na only LGBT, it contain. If for good, if say na only LGBT, this is now content. If for good, you on the game waiting at the talk. LGBT na gay. If say na only gay content, if for good, but no be only gay. If you listen to this man now, from where, oh, are they like if I the play, if I the talk, I they get somebody who explain them so that people go understand them. Because if I come here, I can't talk and now. They will block me immediately. Now, when I was in Swiss in 2013, there was a motion in the in the in the in the state house, or I don't know how the government whether they run now, I forgot. But they say for the house, they come the they, they somebody raised motion because abuse of the minor don't too much. When Tisha go see small girl, he go they shook her hand. Or you go see small boy, you go there, use and the robbing uh, cucumber. So the thing come too much. So they can't go house. So somebody can raise much or say, those people where don't grow up, where they abuse the minor, say, now so God created them. Make we make they know they carry them go court, or make they know they sentence them to prison, or make they know they punish them again. Because they cannot change the way God created them. Now, so God created them. God created them saying as small picking they go like. Say they don't need old people. And they put it into the bed. I don't know whether now they don't pass them. So that is the kind of thing. Your picking where they five years, they go to teach them the difference between shaking hand and the chicken. Uh, uh, cucumber. Your bikini, wait there five years, they go, they teach them the difference between shooking into bomb bomb and the shooking into wikus. They go, they tell them, if you, you are free to like woman, you are free to like man. Your bikini will never know anything. They go, they tell them, a woman fit, go there, do woman, not a man fit, do man, no. Nigeria. The first child, when they get married, they're not going to have children. They're going to have children. Do you know any name? Okay. Can you mention any name of these schools or these things that have been taught or any I don't evidence? Know if I mention whether it's a proper Okay, or if there's any evidence, we need evidence. The, the, the evidence I have is, is in my office. You can invite me again, I will show it. Or if the, or if the minister will want, I can be what to find. We exhibited the syllabus, had the syllabus, we exhibited the session. Where th that they are being taught masturbation and tell them that sex is their right, they should come bother about their parents. These are GSS. They, do, they should do sterilization so that they don't become pregnant. And the danger is that these girls, when they get married, they're not going to have children. The process are buying for it. I already have processes where biology, chemistry, and uh, if you get the science, I'm sure you saw the biology, chemistry, mm -hmm. and physics. They were smeared by watermark in, in, in the description saying, my mother is a harlot. My father is an arm robber. I was saying, what is this? We went to federal high court 
and they came to the office, they were saying, what to settle out of court. I said, why do you put this watermark? Watermark is, uh, inscription means that you can read the book there, eh, but when you, when you turn the page, you see the inscription. My mother is a harlot. I said, why are you attacking the family? What is all this? He said, sorry, yo, we don't want uh, our book to be pirated. I said, why, do you put, why don't you put my mother as an angel or what, whatever? So we had the process in my, in my office. I will come back, or if the government is interested, I will show them the court processes, what is happening in our public school is terrible. And I'm, I start to defend it because I am on the ground. I was the lawyer that went to court, so it's not a theory. Okay? okay. And I exhibited the chapters of right now, it is still going on. In mathematics, they will tell them 20 condom minus, minus 2 condom. Terrible thing. This is what has, what, I mean, I mean <laughs> destroyed the world. Make sure you know what your children are doing. The conversation make sure you know what your children are doing in the school that's by the way that's we've heard the other part those ones he's saying now is just aggregating miserable now maybe we can go another side still on the uh, uh samoa agreement still on the samoa agreement i want me to still listen the other side of the story again they signed the deal without knowing what they signed. They were only interested in the money they are going to get. Nigeria has been sold into the hands of Satan. Listen. This morning with uh, Mary Kemezia, who is a legal practitioner, lead consult, ME consult, uh, lead consultant, ME consult, and she is also a member of the African Bar Association. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Is it a wordy, wordy conversation, conversation, this whole noise, noise some, some would say, say about, about the Samoa, Samoa agreement? Or oh, do you know, you think Nigerians are just getting overly sensitive? There is cause for concern, um, and it is a valid concern, um, particularly if you um, have been following the negotiations leading to the agreement of the final tax. Um, what has made this agreement particularly controversial is that unlike the previous, I mean, this agreement is superseding the um, Cotonou Agreement mm -hmm. that was signed in 20, 2000 and was originally meant to have, you know, elapsed in, 2000 and in 2020. But because of the contentious nature of the, of the agreement, there's another extension for about two years, another further extension until it was signed last year, November, if I'm not mistaken, and Nigeria did not sign at the time. And why is that? Um, a bit of sort of some sort of a little bit of history into the agreement. So what this agreement is is effectively a bilateral agreement that speaks about trade between the European Union, I mean member states, and African states, Caribbean states, and Pacific states. Um, in total, about 79 countries and the EU, 27 countries. Um, it was meant to drive trade, make trade easier, all of that. I mean, on, it looks good. But for these particular negotiations and these agreements which we have now signed, um, and which is causing a lot, of um, a lot of concern, is that the EU sort of shifted and then said, well, for this agreement, we're going to have six focal points. We're going to be looking at poverty alleviation. We're going to be looking at human rights. Um, we're going to be looking at climate change. We're going to be looking at um, <laughs> um, sexual, um, reprodu sexual um, and reproductive health rights. Um, and two others, I think agriculture, I don't remember the last one. Now, um, right there is, if, you, if, you, if you've had, had the benefit of looking at some of the papers, p policy briefs issued by the EU, EU team during the negotiations when they were going back and forth. Um, they kept saying, you know, we want to insist now on the, um, what's it called, the UN SDG goals being sort of integrated into this document, all the human rights provisions integrated into the... Com but the challenge is that our concept of human rights is vastly different from human rights, from an EU perspective, we, um, our cultural nuances are very, very significantly different. 
And even amongst this agreement, um, when I was also reviewing the, the paper briefs that they had issued, the EU themselves had issued their member countries. Um, they had said, well, you know, we also have to look at security um, in the documents we're negotiating with the Africans because we want to um, and strengthen democracy. But that wasn't um, exactly the same level of concern they had with the Pacific or the Caribbean countries. Um, and, and in some areas, two issues have come out. For something that was ordinarily meant to be a trade document, we now have you speaking about democracy and security and some sort of, on some level, um, power grab. Um, and the second one is around human rights and the sexual reproductive, um, what we call SH, SR, SR, HR, sexual and reproductive health rights. Um, when you hear that word, so first of all, I will respond to all of the sort of, um, I mean, it's been flying around on, on, on WhatsApp, LGBTQ, you will not find that word in this document, it doesn't exist in this document, deliberately so, because again, a lot of negotiations did go in, um, and there was, to be fair to the African countries, um, a lot of pushback. Mm. Um, there was a lot of pushback on this particular point. However, um, if you're also conversant with what's happening at the in, on the international forum, mm. you would know that um, sexual and reproductive health rights is the acronym for LGBTQIA. Um, when you also hear about gender equality, it is also another acronym for, the, um, for abortion rights. Um, it's also an acronym for um, transgender rights. It's an acronym for sexual orientation. And it doesn't mean the same. So when we say in Nigeria gender, um, we mean more often than not, we mean male and female. Mm. Having said that, I have seen a couple of forms by Nigerian businesses where you have male, female order. And I think, hmm, who is order in Nigeria? I mean, you know, um, it's not on a scale. I'm not, at this point, I'm more thinking I should escalate. But what I do know from watching what has happened in other countries is that it is a slippery slope. Mm. It just is a gradual creeping descent. And they just need a framework to make that descent happen. So that is why there is a cause for concern. Um, this agreement, one, contrary to the Vienna Treaty or um, on the law of treaties, um, does not, an international, um, agreed international norms, does not allow for exceptions. Mm. Um, at the international level, recognizing that different, you know, different countries have different things that are important to them, mm. the Vienna, Conven Vienna Convention on um, law of treaties allowed that and requires that agreements have you know room for reservation so you can say well i agree i signed this but i disagree with x y z z z okay so this yeah. agreement that we have signed yeah. has no such provision and the second most another very worrisome thing if you send any legal document at all any law at all one of the first things you see either at the beginning of the agreement or at the end of the agreement is a definition clause so that we are we when we say Gender, for instance. So you don't think that they there is none. Cost is not also there is none. There. Okay. <laughs> so there are there is a sufficient of grounds for concern. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Gocha Chinedu Collins is also with us this morning. He is an international law practitioner, and he is also uh, uh, a, a member. The reason is this: um, uh, we are in a, we are at a time in our country where uh, we we seem to be quite apprehensive about a lot of things. Now. On the content of the Samoa Agreement, I would uh, uh, comfortably say that um, the, the visibly controversial articles, which are Articles uh, uh, 2, uh, Articles uh, 2.5, that is uh, Articles 2 sub 5, and Articles uh, 29 um, sub 5. Uh, these, uh, these articles, um, specifically uh, uh, 2.5, talks about um, yeah, mainstreaming uh, uh, gender perspectives. And um, Article 29, uh, sub 5, talks about uh, sexual and reproductive rights. 
Now, uh, you know, these points are quite uh, very sensitive issues, both in Nigeria and the uh, on the international forum. So, um, when you when you talk about gender, uh, it's no longer about uh, be the male or female. It, it has been broadened. So, when um, the issue of uh, the, the the term uh, gender is mentioned, um, it raises concern as to what exactly what is the limit of the interpretation of the word. Now, um, on, on the other hand. We also have to recognize that um, Nigeria has uh, still uh, is still a sovereign state. If you look at Articles Two uh, Sub Two of uh, the Samoa Agreement, you would see that uh, it recognizes the sovereignty of states. And um, in as much as uh, Nigeria has uh, signed this agreement, uh, in as much as the principle of uh, Pacta Sunt Servanda also exists in Articles Twenty Six of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties, um, there is uh, some limitations as to the extent to which uh, the Samoa agreement will be binding on Nigerians. Of course, we know of Section 12 of, of, uh, of our Constitution. Although Articles 27 of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties uh, says that a, 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 state, a party to an agreement or a party to a treaty cannot rely on, uh, um, on their local laws to, uh, to, to um, avoid complying with the obligations under a treaty. And it also talks about it talks uh, in Section 46 in Articles 46 of the same Vienna uh, Convention on the Law of Treaties, that yes, um, a, a state party can actually um, deviate or deviate from a, um, a, an international agreement if it is contrary to their local laws, and that local law is quite a fundamental one. Now, we know that Nigeria already has a um, same-sex marriage prohibition act. You understand? So uh, the, the, the point is that so far as the National Assembly has not um, ratified or a domestic, it not ratified, sorry, has not domesticated or enacted uh, the content of that agreement, while it has um, some effects on Nigeria, uh, there is a limit to that effect. Okay. But that is moot. Mm. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Ogacha. You know, madam, let me quickly ask you this. Part of what explanation the federal government, first of all, what, how, satisfied, how satisfied are you with the federal government's explanation so what they have said is oh we filed a declaration saying xyz we hear them um but we also know that that agreement as i said doesn't allow for that all the treaties allows for that so it's neither here nor there the import of that document and i hear my colleague around um the laws have to be domesticated which for which we are very grateful um, however, if you have been paying attention to what's happening at the international sphere, you would also recognize that there are very other, what is the word I would use, a lot of soft play um, at work, soft power play at work. Now, um, in, if we've signed on this document, which we have signed, ostensibly we have agreed to the provisions. One of the provisions in this agreement is that it allows the EU to bypass the government and the EU insisted on this provision when they were negotiating the agreement to fund civic organization, direct funding to civic organizations who align with their um, EU values. So that means you are, you are essentially <laughs> saying that they, they can break our laws. Will they break our laws? Well, we have signed this agreement, have we? Are you getting the message? <laughs> EU, with this December agreement, EU fit come Nigeria now, say, hmm, um, we don't like um, the way you are restricting cows, for instance. EU fit come say, we don't like the way you are saying no open grazing. Let there be open grazing. And they will enact it as a law. That is, the, the EU have power, power to override your own constitution or your law and put their own on top. If you say, if there is something like, I don't know how to describe it again. If there is something like, um, EU, EU can come in, for instance, eh? EU can come in, for instance, and say, no more that the GO, that the church should belong to government. 
that church, real church, big time church, is under government. You must pay tax, and they go tell you that's anything they decide it goes. <laughs> No, <laughs> you, I'm asking you a direct, so you can say they can break our laws okay. on our land, and <laughs> so let, and uh, let me use and a arrogate, example. and abrogate our sovereignty <laughs> on our own land. I'm trying to see how that makes sense. Um, we know if we're being honest to ourselves that this happens already in Nigeria. If we are saying the truth, abortion today is illegal, but we have in Nigeria today international NGOs funding and um, action abortion in Nigeria. So who is... And so just saying that that is one thing for sure that happens in Nigeria. Do for you have sure. proof of that? I have proof. We reported to the police once, nothing came out of it. Just saying, that is one. Mm. And there are... It's called soft power. It's not in your face. It's not up there. But it is happening. The second question about we should be paying attention to, there is, if you've been looking over the last 10 years or count and counting, if you're paying attention again to what's happening in culture, in the movies, um, advocacy, there is an increase in rise. Very subtle, which is, again, the same playbook they've used in every other country where this has, has, has happened successfully. In almost normalizing LGBTQ. It's coming up more often in conversations. You're hearing it in place, alluded. It's also, what's the word, gradually weakening that, and gradually weakening that sort of alarm you get. And I would use a very graphic example, I apologize for that. When the first killings in the Middle Belt started, everybody was horrified. What's this? Are those killings still going on? Yes. Are we horrified? Yes. Is it the same level of horrification? No. Some level of desensitization has happened because it's gone on for too long. There is only so much the human mind can take. And that is what the concern with this is. Would we see an immediate in the next one, two years? No. But we will see a weakening of our values. Follow the money is what it's called. And there is incredible amounts of money available for this. It's soft power. Mr. Gwachad, what's your take on... Uh, what well, you get it. It's not that uh, the law is contains uh, the 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 um, uh, you know this and that um, anything about LGBT. It is even worse. It would have been better than Nigeria go into agreement with any organization that will give them money and introduce LGBT to them. And the, do you know the funniest part of it? The so-called useless senators that sit there every day to deliberate whether cow is a human being or not don't even know about this until people start talking, until people start telling them this is the meaning of this agreement to where on a country don't go sign no then they come and start saying hey president if that is the truth we don't want to get no fools everywhere i pray god as you sign you don't sign no going back if you don't want to fight for your freedom now i be sorry for waiting what happened to you nigeria has been sold you cannot buy Nigeria back. Even if you like, use every human blood or add, you know, ritual, use every human being with the, with the Nigeria, use their blood to do sacrifice for money to come. You know, go rich to pay the money where Nigeria they owe. I tell you the truth. Let me tell you that one. I saw it. Keep on this thing. I told them that. Tinibu will sell Nigeria life, collect money. I saw the word of same people, sir. They never sell them anything, still, man. When the road where you get for Nigeria, eh? And in years to come, the country that sponsored that road, that built that road, will come to collect it. Have you ever sat down for once and think and ask yourself? 
all this money that Nigeria is borrowing, are borrowing, what are they doing with the money? What, where are they investing this money? Nigeria is the only country that borrows money and they do not invest in industries. They do not invest in anything that will bring fund. They borrow money to build roads. They borrow money to buy motor. They borrow money to pay senators. They borrow money to uh, 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 buy private jets. Buy yash. Not the one with Binyash. Now waiting uh, the, uh, Buhari by a few months before you go. They borrow money to pay allowances, Nigeria. When other countries will borrow money and invest in industry, invest in technology, Nigeria borrow money to sweet mouth. They borrow money to go weekend. They borrow money to go to, to buy weekend, the midweek to rest. They borrow money to buy land cruisers and private jets. Foolish people. Nigeria. No, keep fighting for Nigeria. Fight. I told them that Tinibu will sell Nigeria. Life, collect money. I saw the word of same people. Sir, you must be born again to see again. This is not the time again I'm telling somebody to repent. Now it's a must or you perish. You see, the repentance here is to look for your freedom. <clears throat> Total freedom. No be you know, people don't even know the meaning of repentance. Repentance is freedom. Repent and be free from bandages of destruction and pains and sorrow. You don't know. You don't know. You just say that to repent and go heaven be repentance. Repent from the evil we don't hold you for them. Nigeria don't hold you, they strangle you. You see they there, you don't want to repent. Be repentance of going to church to pray from money tonight, or going to mountain to pray from money tonight. Because the same thing where they do people, where they push people into IDP camp, go find you there. Better repent. Total repentance, hundred percent times hundred percent repentance. That is what he's saying. Repent, look for your freedom now. Fight for your freedom. Look for. By the way, that from everything we have been I told them that Tinibu will sell Nigeria. Life, collect money. I saw the word of same people. Sir, you must be born again to see again. This is not the time again I'll be telling somebody to repent. Now it's a must or you perish. Serving God, is it 2024? 2024. You will have your money, the money will be useless. Many companies will fold, let me say, fold. Parents will call PTA meeting and say, we cannot afford it. I saw these same people built to build house will be to build four bedroom flats will cost you what they used to build 20 story you are crying now that dollar is 1000 something you are crying why in the month of March 14th right i said dollar will go to 2500 okay who never understand it keep doubting i won't make you keep the doubt keep fighting against the corner of biafra but the biafra is here whether you join whether you don't join it will not stop Biafra from coming that is just a simple truth that everybody must understand now so it be now so it be Mazenam the Kano said that they must be pushed to discuss to talk to write about us are they not doing it today hear him I told them that if you don't let Biafra go this God that we worship will destroy Nigeria beyond recognition. It happened to Pharaoh in the Bible. Pharaoh was mocking God. Who is this your God? God sit down. When Moshe, Moses told Pharaoh that Elohim said, let my people go, he refused. He said his nonsense. They are talking rubbish. Are you not here? Uh, are you not our servants here? 
the same thing they are saying. Are you those people have shops here selling motor spare parts? Are you people not the ones doing trading here? How can God come to save you people? And I said to them many years ago, Elohim said, let my people go. And I went on to add, if you do not let us go, Nigeria will be worse than Somalia. I made it very clean. Clear. I don't believe in stupid uh, prophetic pronouncement. Very clean and clear. Somalia will be better than the zoo called Nigeria. If you don't let our people, if you don't let the children of God go, you will be, God will visit his anger. People don't know, as I told Britain, I told Britain the same thing. Regardless of their first world state, I said to Britain, if you continue to meddle into the affairs of Biafra, God will divide Britain into pieces. Will cut Britain into pieces. That your pride, you will know it is because of Biafra, that your pride will not allow you to come out to say publicly it is because of Biafra. God will destroy Britain. Before all the whole world, you will see it. Now they have realized their mistakes, they are going back. Little by little, of course. God will destroy Nigeria beyond redemption. Many of you, shouting one Nigeria, you're going to die. Many of you will die. Because of that one Nigeria, you're going to die. Write it down. I don't, don't say, don't, don't misquote me. Write it down, I said. All of you championing one Nigeria. Are they not dying? That is, if they have not died, are they not dying? <laughs> one Nigeria. Every day, hundreds of people are trooping into IDP camp. One Nigeria, every day more evil and calamity than full of home people. One Nigeria, you are still waiting. If I were you and that that is not yet into this moving trend, I will fly into this moving trend. Believe it or not, Nigeria is over. Prominently, you are. All right, we'll head out. Uh, Max, you're welcome. Casey, you're welcome. But before we move on, um, there's something I want us to see so that um, when we finish, we know we finish. Now, they are fighting against the coming of the Afra because of something like this. I want you to hear this. Listen. Hey, about you. About what you said, the case. Oh, yeah. What did you say, the case? Yeah. This is Shannon Blanchett and the Fountain Squad. Yeah, this is Commander Ezan Okoisi, reporting from Night of Rachel at the near yesterday night. So, yeah, I get what I'm about to Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, very careful. How many of you have been here? How many of you have been here? How many I don't like him. 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 I don't Yes, I'm a few years. 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 I'm a no, I'm going to be an air. Hey, you want to be your percent? No, I'm going to get the Yes, 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 because I have to see about now. If we are ready, we are going to be in the fourth day. We have to attend the general meeting. 
Now, if you know here waiting or you know understand waiting in talk, if they sell you go with other in him does or in him suru in him meshara, and the, according to him, if I'm your bar, in if I'm your bar stadium, and according to him, if I'm your bar is aware. If I your bad told him, instead of you to be a robber, a robber, instead of you to be robbing people, go and sell a one, go and sell in here in this thing you are selling. This is if I your bad is a senator, a senator, on a senator, nay, we on a senator. See how they use less on our people. Ona, this is how he is useless in Ona people. Ne we Ona de siam Ona de understanda. See this one. Na government. If somebody Ona Ona some people, man, I'm not that. 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 I'm Thank you. I know you you've been here. <clears throat> you've been here for a long time. Yeah. God bless you, my brother. Namochi, as you voted Namochi, but he won't eat prophet and you shouldn't quite have so I've never forgotten that. They won't know, they won't know, they won't know. And uh, my Namoches that are in the studio, I salute all of you, then I bring you the joy on behalf of my family and my entire father's land, Upper East region, the Kusasi people of Ghana. My brother, these are the things that we don't want to see. And the reason why God sent Mazen Namdakano is to right the wrongs of the past. No matter what they do, we are not going to back down. God has set us free already. Spiritually, we are free. Those people that are coming to do all these things, are just distractions in my own opinion and we are head bent on making sure that biafra is restored no matter what they say no matter what they do will stop the coming of biafra i am in total support of whatever that anybody is doing to bring back my mother's ancestral land free that land from invaders people that we don't have anything in common and i will tell you that i we want biafra so that just imagine after deliberating on cows in the national assembly today i'll be yesterday or day before yesterday the president of nigeria has inaugurated the ministry of livestock Cow. Cow, Ministry of Cow. 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 And you want me to support such a contraption? Never. 
Never. And I am using this opportunity to join those that are calling. Those are our idiotic political elites in Biafra land to think twice before they begin to go and collect money from the federal government to establish livestock colonies in Biafra land. It will never happen. It will never happen. Mm -hmm. You cannot take the land of the people to give people that we have nothing in common with. I want you people to look at what my president did here in Ghana. When they came to do the same thing that they are doing in Nigeria free of charge, it was the police, not just the army, that chased them away. Today, they cannot kill innocent farmers, indigenous people in Ghana. They have run away because of the action, the proactiveness of my president, although our economy is nothing to write home about. But as long as these invaders, these foreign invaders from the Sahelian area were chased out, I am in love with him, I am in bed with him. What is happening in Nigeria is because of the idiotic actions of the Nigerian politicians. And this will not be encouraged in Biafra land. Those politicians, Abaribe and Co, make sure that you do not get involved in taking any piece of land from the Biafra land, my mother's ancestral land for Katu colony. We don't want them. They are coming in for destruction. Once their population is more than the people where they inhabit, they will destroy them. What happened in the Northern Nigeria against the Hausa indigenous people and the minority indigenous people in the North will never be allowed to replicate in Biafra land. They must be warned because Biafrans have spoken. Thank you so much. And may God bless all of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my brother. Um, Casey, are you there? Ah, network, no, you talk. Okay. Uh, I will see. What is sister? What is sister? Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm you have to mind, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, away, my brother. I salute you, my darling brother. What is sister? What is sister? My <laughs> name, Oche. <laughs> The, the breast make, the, I am fine. The breast milk you people gave me, the Biafran people, is not a waste. Yes, it's sir. not a waste. Not Thank you, all. my sister. God bless, God bless you. you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. My will go 247 at the West and lose from here. Thank you. Will, yeah. Thank you for your hard work. God bless you. Thank you very it much. Is. You see, our people, see, we, they will never, they will never ever take us away from Biafra. We are going with our Biafra. What they did to the north will never, ever happen to us. Mazi, we started fighting these people from when? From the time the English people started coming to our land. Not today. We've been fighting them. We are the only ones that can stand and fight them. We did everything to stop them. And they know that it's we, that we are the giants. We, the Biafrans, are the giants. When they say, go and look in the land and see what is there. Who are they? And they came back to tell this, this if you love with them, white people that, ah, the land is full of honey meat and honey but the people there are giants mazi now we be the giants we stand and fight the british people for so long before they deceive us carry mirror carry some kind things come to come deceive us what we take for but and then no say 
if they don't feel cash out or they can never never get what they want so at last they've not got minister of cow at last they've got the minister of cow very soon they will get me president of cow very soon the president of cow is on his way so uh oh Fabio, bow down for their call oh Fabio, stood stood low for their call on the chamber that day when he repeated himself he reversed his word and now today they don't get minister of cow what else are they waiting for not be not be president of cow now they wait for we are gone by the time they could get those ministers we are gone we don't have time with them anymore if they let me they borrow all the money if they like they sign signature and sign their soul away with it we are not part of it we are the giants in the bible they can twist the bible all they want but we are the giants that they, they, they see and they were scared and we will capture them now we go capture them not be there go capture us nigeria is gone my brother nigeria is finished there is no way that they don't hear about biafra even our own people that that have strong head that they think say oh naibo they do us they don't know what in day they understand now that indeed i will say they come to come divide us to come and deal with us to come and kill us to come and divide us that is what these full and new people came for and they don't know say we'll be one our people don't know say we are one they might be coming to the surface to pretend but behind the closed door my brother ek clark you have meeting with and anyway let me not go there yes if not they will understand some certain things but everybody told ek clark knows now that we are one if he said if only the youth of nowadays can rise up and do it that we have made mistake that we have made mistake we have led the youth astray but if only the youth can stand stand up and fight that is ck class secretly and we are gone my brother you know say again 26 on the second of december is around the corner and we will sing and sing and sing to our people and i'm telling our people to get ready that our radio is in our land it's in our land and we are going to preach to you to the english what will not they hear my people if now robo now they hear we go speak robo for now if now it's so cold now they hear we go speak it so cold for now if not pitching english now they hear we go speak the pitching english for now oh now he must open and now go must understand what is the apple Say these people, they, they fight for us and not for themselves. Whatever all year you get for your land, they get and times hundred. Whatever gas you get for your land, they get and times million. They fight for us and they know they fight for themselves. The fight is for you to get liberated, make you free so that you go govern yourself. Make you free so that you go feel do things for yourself and not anybody go come control you. See worry no oil refinery. What do they do? They, they carry on oil full of pipeline. They go Niger. On a need a shame. On a call on ourselves the youth of na the European Soko State. On a go open eye and I'm not the battle start our brothers. Would they come to come preach on now? I will go hear the gospel. The person when they lead us. Now a young man like on very young, and he put up for him. He carry this Biafra for his head. They fight for now. When I must support him and fight with him. Thank you, my brother. No, thank you so much, Wale sister. Okay, uh, Aka Waba. Aka Waba, uh, can you hear me? Uh, Mazuba. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Mazuba, good evening. Biafra, I greet Ndewo. everyone. Ndewo. Ndewo, no. Um, because um, what I want to say about this this news you just shared now, because hello, I am not going to hear you. So this news you just shared now, eh? I was sharing tears now, and uh, I don't know the way I'm understanding the news, and you leave the news to enter everybody who want to listen and who want to learn. 
to enter ear, to enter head and enter brain. Because if you cut it and analyze, we will miss something. You leave it so that the thing will store in our memory. Exactly. That was why I allowed it to play. Do you know, do you know, what, do you know what I picked there? Do you know very thin, very big part I picked there? Nigeria is doing signing all this thing they are signing with the open eye. They are not confused. They know that Biafra is coming. Nigeria that Nigeria have know that the whole world have left them. Nigeria, if 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 the devil come today to say Nigeria, come and sign with me, Nigeria will sign because of Biafra to not come. <laughs> this is their mission, Mazugo. This is this is Nigeria mission to sign in anything on signable. <laughs> Any negotiation that come will make because they you know say they hear European Union, they hear European Union. This is opportunity, and the European Union has sent a letter to them from for some years ago now, and they hear this thing coming from European Union. Nigeria cannot take it twice. Are you Mama Zigo? When you hear the news, you don't need to take twice, and you know what Nigeria is supposed to do. Nigeria, Nigeria is looking collaboration for all corner. All corner. Even if you only you now will sign sign to that Mazen and the Carlo, you want to only you want to go and give him poison in that prison. Nigeria need two hundred million. Nigeria will go and borrow money and pay you that money. Nigeria will, Nigeria cannot have money to fix the problem in the country, but they will come make sure they borrow money and destroy the country. This, and destroying they are, they are destroying it's not destroying to make that and uh, destroying it so that everybody will benefit they will destroy it so that everybody will scatter and it, them the elite will be enjoying that scatter that destroyed because they, they destroy it but the people that enjoy nigeria and everybody is crying today is only elites no one the man the man that they are asking Uh, what happened? <laughs> what happened when I wake up? <laughs> it's network. It's network. Yeah, it's network. As I had the baby, they, they say you don't talk too much. <laughs> oh boy. I make a end the program, eh? Make a try end the program. So maybe we just say, uh, uh, yeah. maybe we just take one, one minute to say, Bye -bye to be my 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 brother, before Wari sister and uh, my Namoche from Abia Abba comes on, I would like to tell you people that um my network is wrong. This my network, I don't know. Yeah, yes, it's wrong. The, your metro, your network is is worrying you. You see, our people, I want to tell you, both the hinterland on the river around areas. If God did not send Mazen Namdekano to start what he started, by now, I don't know where we could have been. They tried to scuttle it. They kidnapped him, rendered him to Nigeria to face trial, and he's winning them in all angles. That would tell you any Biafran that is still in doubt that Biafra is a spirit. And once that spirit possess you, possesses you, you will be doing unthinkable things for the benefits of the Biafran people. Please, I beg of you, I am not a full-blooded Biafran. And I am doing my own part. You must do your own. You don't need anybody to come and tell you to do something in order to free our land. Our land is on the verge of taking over. They will not come in swarms or soldiers. They will always use their foot soldiers that are stooges. They will attack us by proxy using our own people as the head of authorities in the land. We must be prepared to face these people. I saw a video when they are amassing troops coming into Biafra land, going into the bushes. You will all die there. You will fight there. You will fight there. Like Mazen Nambekanu said, the prophet of our time, 
my leader, we will open up the Biafra land. You will come in while they are taking over your own land. And by the time you realize it, you will not have a place to go. I urge all Biafrans, if you have not voted, go and vote. If you have any one cent that you have as a reserve, please contribute. Nothing is so small and nothing is so big. We are fighting for the reservation of the preservation of my mother's ancestral land, Biafra. I salute all of you, those in the comment section. I salute Mazen Nam the Kano, and I also salute the Prime Minister, his cabinet members, and everybody that is fighting to make sure that my mother's land is not taken over. Thank you so much, Mazugo. And may Chuko Kikabiyama continue to bless you for the time that you have spent to do all these things. May Chuko Kikabiyama bless all of you and prosper you. Sorry. Thank you so much, Max. Thank you so much, Max. Okay, uh, what is sister? I beg. Okay, what is sister? Don't come out. Casey, Casey, I dare you. I want to take come out. I dare you now. Where you there? We know they see you now. Okay, okay, what is sister? I beg. Now, I beg. I beg. I beg. Leave police sister. Make you talk, bro. Make sure no go carry you for me. I know get time, man. I know get time. I beg. What is sister? Don't talk before. Now, just make it. Just use one minute to say goodbye. I beg. Make okay. a bit too much. I get somebody to wait for me. Okay, okay, thank you. Ah, uh, the first person I want to salute now, Yenzu, we throw away our salute for you, Giddy Bam. We pray for you. Say this journey where you start, you go end up with us in the name of Chuko Kika Biyama. Something go do you. You go come out like you take your mouth and talk, say all this danger we they they wait, make you come outside, make it that this time you go come fall. But our sugar kika biama go disappoint them. That you go come out in good head. Even though they say you they uh, yeah, you they sick or they, they put poison, they put everything for your body. But as they, they put, that's what God go they remove her. As you peace, that's what they go they come out. As you go toilet, that's what they go they come out. Whatever they put for food, now their any, now their family and their lovers. Now go eat and then I go come in the name of Chico Kika Biama. And I pray for our upper to be say from morning, afternoon, night. The angels of God go guide them, go protect them, go give them more wisdom to do that thing when only you know how to do best. And as he saying, be the finisher. Indeed, he must come to come finish her with us. No other person there will not get another person again. We won't finish this battle where we start. So, so now him, our Obato Bia, Yagbara Guru, we give you hand. Say, carry go. Nothing they will do for your back. We will be so there for your back. All of us there for your back. We they follow you. If you say turn left, we go turn left. And I saw the finger of God go they direct you. The eyes of God go be upon you. In the name of Chiko Okika Biyama. My brother, I don't want to talk anything again because I know so you don't tell where you did for you. But after yeah. your meeting, me and you go sit up. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, very I, will much. I will call you tomorrow, I beg. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Casey, I beg. You have one minute, please. Okay, okay. Um, I greet you, my people. Is it Mazugo? Yes. This our useless say our useless people where they say where call themselves elder state men and the elder state woman and the youth, so on and so forth. When they ask, when they are talking about this uh, minister of uh, animal and this in a cow, this in a cow minister and the cow this thing, he carry them along. They foolishly go and sign the bill with him. But when he went to go and sign LGBT, uh, uh, this in, he didn't carry them along. He went only himself and go and do you without them approving it. If it is why you see one of the ten, these are our useless elders, they will never learn. Only they what they care is to bring Nandikali to kill, bring Samuel Lekwa to kill, kill Jeffrey, kill anybody where make kill uh, uh, buy anything where we come and say anyone can talk about Biafra. Buy this, buy that. They will never see this one that this guy did now. 
They will continue throwing money until that country is already the country is already decimated. What do you remain? Nothing remain. The only thing I'm telling my, my people, go out there and vote. Follow our prime minister. Make sure that we get what we want. Because if we don't get it, when the zoo already don't sink, we are sinking within. That's the only thing I want to say. Thank you, my brother. May God bless yeah. you. I bless our prime minister and our leader. All the BRJ and Komen in Ezra. Ebo. Ebo. The African Ebo. Masters of this 2024. Nobody can stop it. Thank you. Thank you, dear France. Ebo. Colonel <laughs> Simon Uwakwe, Commander, 56th Brigade, Nkedina Lotuku, Simon Okemi, 